Midnight. Golden Week. Oh, coincidental. Golden Week was last week. But, hey. Right? Dang, that means we're in a similar timeline as the visual novel right now. That's sweet. Alright, let's begin. Golden Week has begun. Oi is currently leading everyone in the Kunahama Academy FC Club to our training camp. Whoa. I don't remember all the characters' names. In fact, I forgot them, so... I might have to remember some of them. よろしい。ほとんど学園を収めると言ってもいいくらいの行政組織なんだそうだ。そしてその生徒の数が多い。首都にある本校は生徒数だけでは6000を超える。でも、we're we're in the West, but we haven't met a lot of West girls, right? West Coast girls, country girls, with a thick accent. That's a little bit disheartening. Damn. What the hell? Well, only you shouldn't be next to Sensei. Nanda Oyagi Moto. So, she knows Katta, what she of Furu took a cot to Hinda to Kaitawa. Isn't she like twenty two? Kate is on the Kotoa. Do you come as I can you, Matana? Most Koshi Otonashimena say to Katom Tatas. Kyushu is like the island to the very west. Yeah, isn't that Kansai dialect is in Osaka area? Middle West? Oh, word! Dang. Alright, I didn't know that. Dang. I was hoping there might be someone with the Kansai dialect. But it's Middle West? Mountain area? Dang. Because the reason why I say Kyushu is like the country is because then animes used to make fun of Kyushu calling them backwater or something like that. Because they're so far west, like isolated from like, quote unquote, the city, the big city, Tokyo. Or even what's the other one? The other one's in East, though, isn't it? I don't know. There was another one. Well, I admit that was impressive, but it's better not to try that doing a normal fight. Maduka! お前もFCのマスキ。先生の特別授業から技を盗むんだ。私マネージャーだよ。ていうかあんまり動いたらメイクがメンブレンが肌にこすれて会心の夏目が崩れちゃう。Damn, she's wearing makeup. Damn, Isaki, don't wear makeup. What the hell? Wait a minute. Damn, Mashiro don't know anything about makeup. I thought she would, because she's kind of girly. I fly over to Oisan in order to ask her a question. Why are we flying to them? There are better means of transport. Dang, endurance test? It's like we're running to another country. Instead of running, we're flying. Since they boost look insane. I don't get it. I knit my brow in confusion. いや。単純に申請から期間に余裕がなかっただけだ。交通手段どころかこの合宿自体相手の予定に練じ込ませてもらったくらいだからな。Damn, last minute. And they're fine with that. Now I'm getting uneasy for an entirely different reason. 
そもそも予算に余裕もないしな FC 部なんだから飛んでいくのも不自然じゃないだろう不満があるなら歌でも歌おうかあ、uh, It's not like I want to feel like some camping trip、まあとあえて移動手段の暮らしにした理由を敷いてあげるな Dang, Sensei Whisper I'm tempted to try to make her louder But then that's like I have to I have to make the game lower. I don't want to do that. Yeah, the volume is already max. She's just very low. I wish I could make her louder. I really like the songs, so I'm not gonna lower it. I honestly don't even care anymore. Princess. I had lost interest and started to move my eyes away from her, but hearing that makes me turn back towards her instantly. She has a smug look on her face, but I can also sense a hint of kindness within it that most people wouldn't register. You know how much they improved if you actually show up to practice at all. I reply in an accusatory tone. I mean, come on. How can a club advisor not even show up to practice once? Her excuse sounds way too forced to move me to tears. Doubt it. Huh? What do you mean by、uh, Asuka? We're having a one on one. We can talk later, Asuka. Asuka is suddenly flying right next to me. What's the matter? Do you need help with your form again or something? Do you always have to trash me? I swear, she's constantly bad mouthing me. It really sucks. No need to exaggerate, but thanks. So, what's up? Damn, Sensei Bell is pissing me off. She's a Sensei! Around her students, bro! She should, like, buckle her belt properly at least. I don't mind the way she dressed. But come on, man, that loose belt? It kinda triggers me. <sighs> right, Asuka. Tell her. Pretending to blow smoke out of a cigarette that's not even lit can't save her. I pretend not to hear that. Yeah, not Why is she being so dramatic? They gotta be one of the worst excuses I ever heard. And this gullible girl actually believes her. Quit lying to her. You totally just forgot. What the fuck she said? I couldn't hear. Damn. Monica flies off sideways in an exaggerated manner as I always saw on Palm grazes her. I like Monica. She helped me talk shit to Sensei. What the hell? Yeah, this is getting way too weird. Better get away from my son while I still can. Asuka follows me. Looks like she did it without really thinking. Kagami Sensei seems preoccupied. How about I pick up where she left off? 
Asuka presses her hands together, mid-sentence, as if she suddenly remembers something. You must have been hearing things. Asuka, absolute faith in me makes me feel bad. But there's nothing I can do about that. Don't really feel like explaining our past right now. Oh, we're here. Stop. No, it's just Zing is believing. I tell my entire group to stop. Below us is an area far too large to be a normal campus. We're there. Episode 3, Rivals. Fukuri Island is located 5.4 kilometers southwest of Kunahama Island. It takes 19 minutes to cross by ferry. And in the northeastern part of Fukuri Island is this school. So this is Takafuji Academy. Fukuri Island branch, huh? Asuka gives her honest impression. Dang, she didn't go here? Why not? Any specific reason you didn't choose it? I don't believe her. I think she's lying. Frankly, that kind of response suits Asuka the best. Well, I chose Kunahama because it's close by. That's my default answer to the question. And it's what I want to believe too. But honestly, I know that wasn't my real reason. After all, I've been trying to avoid flying circus for a while now. That's why I chose Kunahama Academy, which wasn't known for FC, and somehow I still ended up getting involved with the sport. Oishan was the first person I ever lied to about my motives. Though I'm getting this on right through me from the start. Can't say I expected him to share my thought process. ボイスボール練習場所もメンバーの勝さえままならない同好会。練習試合結果を残し、ついに学校に認められて部活への昇格。そして大会初出場で全国制覇。もう予定外じゃないか。Damn, you want to win the national first try. メンバーの数もギリギリなまま、後がない3年の春を迎えていましたけどね。Mashiro seems pretty worried about that thought. Man, reality a harsh mistress. In three years, the Kunahama Academy FC Club accomplished nothing and lost all its member. Also, someone should speak up about the Winter Nationals part. Damn, this guy. Who's actually a moron. That's why he couldn't get into the school. <laughs> you never quit, do you? Maybe it's the power of his muscles. Considering my situation, I'm actually kind of jealous. Though I still never wish to be like him. I don't know if I believe that, but that's very believable. I believe that. I think that's a bit of an overstatement. Yeah, 
に行ったら個性とか埋没しそうで大変じゃない何かあった時に私がメインヒロインになれるよう、こう身の丈に合った格好にしとこうかなって。This vision all is fucked up, bro. I want you to become the main hero too. You're hella hot. But she's not. And I think in the fan this, she doesn't even get a chance. This game is messed up. They should just give her a row. Somehow I get the feeling that I should give up on her. Why? そういえば先ほどおっしゃってたのは何でしたっけ自治制とかいああ大雑把に言うと高藤は学生が学園の運営自治をしているんだもちろん疑似的なものではあるがその頂点が自治制とかいというわけだなるほどピンとこないかなら
Ignore our barely functioning manager for now. The fields when Monica doesn't get around? I still don't understand it. Can't believe they have so many people in supporting roles. No wonder they housed the reigning champion. Eagerly awaiting for us, huh? Going by what Oi-san said, this joint training camp is effectively the same as us forcing ourselves into Takafuji's practice. It'd be nice if everyone actually wanted us here, but... I doubt they do. They could have added more heroines. They... It's pretty short. I don't know if that might be the average. It's... Pink hair? I forgot everyone named Rudy. Black hair, blonde hair, other pink hair. That's it, right? Just four girls? Four is really short. Usually it's typically five or more. Well, mostly five. Reiko. Vice President? Damn. She sure doesn't miss her words. Rika having a route kind of makes sense though. Because Rika is a neighborhood. I don't know about... Nah, she's not the childhood friend, but she's a neighbor. I guess neighbors are... I don't know, man. I don't know if Neighbors is another typical pick, but maybe that's why she got a route over uh, Monica. Mashiro seems annoyed by her attitude. I'm not going to question the the curator's decisions. That's what I'm saying, bro. She shouldn't wake him up every day. You're like neighbors with no connection. I barely talk to her. All I know is she's still my Wi-Fi. That's the only thing I know about Rika. She's still my Wi-Fi and talks shit to me. And then she bring me soba noodles with no soup. Just fucking noodles! I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? Brought my own suit? You lucky I got a mom. Most main characters are orphans. Saying so, Satuin comes over to get our bags herself. Wouldn't say it's a journey, but it's nice to see if she actually cares. Worst girl? Rika? We're not. We don't judge until we see the H scene. Wait to the ludes. I don't know if I can censor it because here's the thing, right? In Twitch, I've been seeing a lot of fucking hentai on Twitch, which is weird. I've been seeing, what should I call it? Conan, you know that game, Conan? That's a lot on Twitch. They show titties and ass and then What's the other game? There's some other game that show like, oh yeah, The Witcher 3. I'm like, this is part of Twitch Directory. I don't know if I'm allowed to actually show it. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna just straight up show it, but I'm fucking skipping. I can't do hentai scenes, dude. Hentai scenes are way too weird. I haven't read a visual novel with one good hentai scene. Except for Magikoi. That's because Magikoi is funny though. I got the H patch. So, I got the H patch because I don't want... Here's the thing. If they censor it, they might change the route a little bit. It might get weird. So, I'm trying to keep the original route as much as possible. So, I got the H patch. That makes no sense. Misaka just contradicting herself there. Plus, she's wrong on both counts. Satuin is just a genuinely kind person. Yeah, <laughs> So, 
There she goes again. What are we supposed to do if our one woman ends poorly? The look on everyone but Asuka faces make it clear we're thinking along the same lines. However, there isn't even the strangest thing she just said. I might do that. Uh, I, st I still haven't put up the sensors yet. I mean, what does being young have to do with anything? I'm sure all of us want to ask her that question, but we avoid it in order to ensure our continued survival. Some of the Takafuji girls let out cheers as she introduces herself. Seems the once legendary Oi Kagami is still known among young Skywalkers. I'm not surprised. She had a ton of fans back in the day, and most of them were girls. Satsui and scolds them. Got it. Urged on by her gaze, I decide to introduce myself. Thank you for making this training camp possible. I'm Asaya Hinata, a sophomore at Kunohama Academy. I'm also currently serve as the coach of our FC club. Nah, I'm just a coach. All of the Takafuji students seem surprised by that fact. Makes sense. It's pretty unusual for someone our age to be just a coach. Even Shindo-san, the top Skywalker of our generation, does both. That must mean they take me for some genius strategist. Damn, I want to go home right now. That said, it's not like I'm anything special. <laughs> No sensei, with all these girls around, you know, compliment me like this is kind of embarrassing. What are you saying? I was trying to lower their expectation, but she just ruined everything. Thank you, sensei. Thank you. I had to have misheard that, right? You can't be serious. You're not actually leaving us here, are you? Damn, Sensei. Wow. That's not the problem here. She winks at the girl who's staring at her as she says that. I need Sensei. Didn't really sound like a joke to me. I'm sure you can pass for a student. Wasn't that a compliment? But she really does look young. She does. Oi san turns to face Satuin san. Um, no, please don't. Sure, I haven't even met Shindo, but he sounds way more amazing than me. I don't know if this is her sick idea of payback, but either way, she keeps making the situation worse for me. And the problem is, everyone from Takafuji is buying into a crap. Ah, I'm screwed. I can't believe you're actually abandoning us. I know she's not the type to change her mind, but still. Fine. I've given up on stopping you, so please do something about our president before you leave. Nani? He's down and dumped because you made him seem like, see, you made me seem like the leader. <laughs> I only just noticed that uh, Prez looks devastated. His reaction honestly 
か。I don't want to say that. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna read that. That's not what I think. I'm the main character. I didn't say that. This is a glitch. I'm skipping that. That's not cute. Grown ass man, six pack, doing that? Hell no. That's besides the point. Flattery will get you nowhere. Quit trying to avoid the problem. Ah, Dameda, Mo Kimu Jikangai. Eken will kick me up, Kono Ukitske, or Shimiki Master Zanem. Oi, Kagami Sensei! So you are the Koroni Kizikin and Nara Sonata no Kiam of Kumatia. Ude no Misado Kuroka Moshinizer. Kinda do. So what? She's saying this is a test of my leadership skills or something? Fine. I'll take care of it. Can't really count on her to handle it anyway. I tend to face everyone from Takafuji Academy again. Let me continue where I left off. This is here, a very dependable club president. <laughs> Press ears twitching when he hears that. That big ass forehead. No one I know as muscular as him, his bulging biceps are a huge help during practice. おい。部長で3年の青柳潮だ。確かだ。筋肉の話ができるといいなと思ってる。よろしく。よろしく。プレスリターンインオールヒズグローリー。筋肉関係でお世話になってるってそれじゃ私たち変態集団みたいじゃ
don't know what she said. She was whispering that. Machida bounced her head with a smile on her face. What? Can't spare any of that kindness from me. Guess this is what they call a teenage rebellion. It, it's nothing. They grow up so fast. Damn, Asuka, come on, bro. It's the uh, Mashiro turn. Alright. The two people who finished introducing them to chime in their play styles. And then next comes. That's a bit too brief. Low blood pressure or not, she could at least try a bit harder here. I wonder who she's looking at. Yeah. Let me get this straight. You're planning on rolling with that broken Japanese for the rest of the training camp? Yeah. Misaki bows her head. Glad she realized it'd be a pain to keep that up. Wow, wow, wow! Why did he put so much effort in this character? It only hurts to see it. Damn! This game's brutal. Okay, see you in a few days. This game is super brutal. Don't worry, Monica. I like that. That was a good introduction. You should be glad you didn't get anyone honest opinion. I'm watching Oisan leave when. Me? Okay. Huh? Are you talking to me? I mean, no. But it's kind of hard to tell when all she says, Anata. What happened to not forgetting a name you heard? I see. She's saying there's some condition I haven't cleared yet. Need to earn her respect to get the privilege of being called by name. Well, what do you need? Let me think. The proposal is our beloved teacher last will and testament. We should at least use it for her sake. Yeah. Let's just get right to practice. Can we use your changing rooms? The changing room! The changing room! Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Come on, take this more seriously. They're letting us stay here and practice with them. How's the matter, girl? Satuin takes it upon herself to show our members the way to the changing rooms, so everyone other than me follows her. Shit. Next thing I know, I find myself all alone in front of a dozen of Takefuji students. Should have just gone with them. I got nothing to do here. This is really awkward. Actually, that's not quite right. I'm their coach. It's my job to get to know some of their players to help my team fit in. I'm not very good at socializing, but I'm the only one who can do this. Wait, Monica would have been perfect for this, and she doesn't even need to change. Why she leave? Because that doesn't really matter now. It's all up to me. I need to at least talk to one person. Having made up my mind, I take a deep breath to relax and prepare myself for this trial. Who is this chick? Please don't tell me it's... I hope it's a new chick. That's right. I, I, I bet it's, it's Rika. I still have to deal with her. Alright. She leads me to a place away from the other Takifuji students. Please let me lie. Let me lie. Okay, never mind. Yeah, and you're the Ichinose who moved in next door. 
Looks like I was right. Your buddy. Your buddy. I already guessed you were a member of the Takifuji Academy FC Club. What? Glad she doesn't seem the worst. I really didn't know at the time. Promise. It only clicked after Oisan told us about the training clan. clan. What do you mean? She's being really vague. Can't tell what she's trying to ask at all. ここに来たばかりの自分でも分かります。練習は厳しいですが、目標や目的意識が高く、尊敬できる先輩方や部員たちです。今は夏の大会を2ヶ月後に控えた大事な時期なんです。特に3年生にとっては最後の公式戦。
His words make me want to curl up into a ball and die. This guy knows my past? He goes silent and appears to be thinking deeply. Yeah? Why don't you start by letting go of my hand? My hand is now covered in cold sweat, but not from shaking it. I should have shut him up before. Is he going to snitch to the entire team? I shake my head dismissively as Ichinose stares at me. I think Ichinose is gonna snitch. She seems like the type to tell everyone. Take that with a grain of salt. I mean, come on. You can tell he's exaggerating, right? Well, I guess it's true that my FC experience played a part into getting me this position. Still, the past doesn't come with very happy memories for me. I won't deny it, but I don't want to talk about it in detail either. Damn. Wow, this guy's fucking. Uh, never mind. Let me hold back. Kuzunari Shindo, the player who said to be the best in that generation, wanted to be like me? You're overhyping me. Shindo narrows his already narrow eyes even more as he smiles. Uh oh. Uh oh, tell her, tell her, Rika. I mean him, bro. He got feminine looks. I got confused for a minute. There's no way she'll straight up tell him she was complaining about us wasting their time. She's stuck in a no-win situation here. Guess I'll help her out of this one. No, the truth is, she did know. She pulled me over here because she didn't want anyone to see her asking for my autograph. Right? Wait, did I set that? I can't tell. They should put like a, a whatchamacallit. A fuck. Man, I've got dumber. I don't know what that means. Quotation marks? Yeah. There we go. Play along. She's kind of nice. I don't think she'll snitch. I think, I think she'll be okay. Luckily, the words I desperately tried to convey through my eyes get through to her. Heh, <laughs> there's no need to be shy. I realize we're acting awfully unnatural, but this is the best we can do right now. Too bad we don't have a pen! Damn it, that really sucks! Man, I really hope we aren't blowing our cover. <sighs> Dude, do it! I gotta sign her titties! I gotta sign her titties! That's the only thing that a true fan would want. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. I'm just really surprised. Pleasantly, of course. <laughs> Well, I don't usually do this, but I'll make an exception just this once, since we have an audience. Shindo's watching me carefully. Oh! What do I sign, though? What do I sign? Put something good? Nice chest. Cute face. I don't know what to put. He's making a real big deal out of this, too. But that said, she came here empty handed. Oh! There's no way she has something convenient on her. I know where to sign. 
Let me choose. The tracksuit! The tracksuit! That expression is one of bitter loss. I'm, I'm definitely getting back her. This was stealing my Wi-Fi. You don't steal your neighbor's Wi-Fi. I know how she feels. I guess the tracksuit would be a problem. Man, he's not gonna be a pussy. Since you need it for our training camp and all, uh, it'll have to be the handkerchief. I don't know what to say. Whoa. Whoa. This is hard to deal with. Honestly, I'm starting to feel just as bad about this as her. No, it's fine. I should be able to forget about it within a matter of three days. Though that means it's going to weigh on my mind during the training camp. She gonna throw it away? Come on, man, it's just my name. What the hell? What the hell? I feel offended. That hurts. The damage is already done. Oh well, let's just get this over with. Ichi knows his son. I can hear your agonized voice. And I'm done. I wish you're giving me a choice. I would have went for the tracksuit. I'm happy to hear that. Ijernose has a stiff expression on her face as she holds the handkerchief to her chest. Both of us suffered massive damage. And this is the most tragic autograph session in history. This guy's a bitch. You don't want my autograph? You say you look up to me, man. Why not? The truly amazing part here is that the look on his face is... In fact, full of envy. What? You can just ask for my autograph. Truth is, the whole autograph thing was a lie. She moved in right next to my place recently and we're on friendly terms. Should have known he realized things didn't add up. Actually, I did know. But you know what? She stole my Wi-Fi. And he seemed to be buying. So I tried to force it through. I'm never gonna win that car. I never saw... I don't know, man. I never saw an anime where the girl, one of the main heroines, stole the main character Wi-Fi. It didn't make... Make him fix his router so she can use the Wi-Fi more. It's kind of fucked up to me. I should have just told the truth from the start. Each of those handkerchief would have been have been sacrificed if I did. I'm I'm really sorry, Each of those. Yeah, but really honestly, I'm Damn, what the hell? Stalker? I mean, not stalker. What do you call them? Fanboys. Fanboys. What did he just say? あ、一ノ瀬君。今のは内緒で頼むよ。僕の部長としての最初で最後の権力のラインを。に、したいなと思っているこれだから。Wait, wasn't it Kunohama that forced this training camp? あ、
in other words. The training camp is happening with the consent of both schools. Damn, don't she feel silly. The girl who had misread the whole situation had turned bright red. So what you get for sticking your nose something you don't really know about. I guess she must feel pretty torn up right now. She can't quite talk properly. Ichinosu-kun,先に皆の元に戻っておいてくれるかね。そうだね。10分後から部活を開始すると伝えてほしい。でも、私。頼むよ。僕に憧れの彼と話す時間をくれないかな。This guy says Quint worthy stuff like it's nothing. But well, it's probably a good idea to let Ichinose cool off on her own. I messed that up. She bows her head to both me and Shindo, then me again one more time and totters away. Be honest. How long were you listening? He dodges my question with a smile on his face. Seems this guy isn't going to be easy to deal with. Anyway, thanks for the assist. You probably went a little overboard, but it all worked out. Yeah, yeah. Shinji's to Honshin wo kuchi ni shita made da yo. I find that hard to believe. Sa, boku tachi mo modoro ka. Saki wa Ichinose kun no tenae ah itte shimatta ga Hinata kun to futari da to agatte shimau. I can't trust this guy. He's too suspect. You gotta be kidding me. Mada ga shiku wa kore kara da. Shindo turns around and walks back over to the others. I look at the hand he shook and notice it's still wet. When I get back, I find Ichinose surrounded by Takefuji students. Damn, she got homegirls. That's awesome. I'm happy for her. Looks like her overseer's attitude hasn't done much. She got lots of friends. Damn, homegirls. Uh, all right, me. I had a seemingly waffling on what to do. She directs the bouts at me. I lightly raise my hand in response. <laughs> like I said, she has some good friends. Oh, you're done changing. Everyone's back now. How do you arrive at that idea? Man, this is weird. No, Asuka, that just seems sad. No! Get lost, Press! After all, after that, we all head over to Takefuji practice ground only to find. <laughs> 